Hi, do y'all recognize where I am? I'm in my office. It feels really weird not to be here with you guys. Um, it's really cute to see all of the games we've played and all the notes you've written me and all the art you've made me, but it does really feel weird to be without you. I wish we could be here together again. I have a book I wanna read you today called The Invisible String. It's a book about what it feels like to miss people that you can't see. So I thought it would be very on the nose for what we're going through right now. And maybe you think it's cheesy, or maybe you think you've felt like this before, and I just want you to pay attention to what it reminds you of while I read, okay? The Invisible String by Patrice Karst, illustrated by Joanne Lou Rehoff. Lisa and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly, it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried out as they ran to her. Have you ever done this before? Been woken up by a bad dream? I used to have a ton of bad dreams when I was a kid. And I would just knock on my mom's door and then just pretend to be asleep in my blanket so that she would get me. It was weird. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Lisa. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my own mommy told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected by a very special string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's even there? Asked Lisa. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart and know that you are always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug in my heart. And when you tug it right back, we can feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string? Lisa asked. She sure does, said mom. And best friends like me and Lucy, asked Lisa. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, mom said. Would it reach me even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Ooh, octopus. Or mountain climber? Even there. A dancer in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? Even there. I love these birds, they're called toucans. They're cousins of parrots. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, 
said mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. What did they do to make her mad? Ooh. Looks fun though. Even when you get older and can't agree about things like what movie to see or what game to play in the car or what time to go to bed. Oh, right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep, even though the storm was still making the same noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have, and the strings their friends have, and their friends have, and their friends have, until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they now could clearly see no one is ever alone. The end. Hmm. I know some of you guys have spent a lot of time in this office with me and some of you wish that you spent maybe more time in here and I look forward to a time that we can be together again. Mwah. I love you. Bye.